Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for checking out the channel. Make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe because we're about to review eight days in the Philippines. This is so popular right now, and I'm living in the Philippines, so it's going to be very interesting to see from an outside perspective of someone coming to the Philippines and trying it out for eight days, exploring and seeing what it's like. So I'm going to watch this. I've heard that it's been getting great reviews. And people are loving this video. I ain't seen it yet, but we're going to see it right now. So let's see. All right, eight days in the Philippines. Day one. So I'm traveling today to this country called the Philippines. Philippines. And the country's tagline is, it's more fun in the Philippines. All right, so he's going to show you the fun stuff. Fun. Boarding the plane, fun. <laughs> the plane is even more fun. Getting your local SIM card is finally fun. fun. It's actually quite easy to get SIM cards. Uber's good. Welcome to the Philippines. Welcome to the Philippines. Also fun. Starbucks. Wow. Subway. Welcome to the Philippines. It's actually nice. You know what? People in Philippines are so nice. Oh, traffic jams. Oh, if you're not in the car. Oh, my God. Yeah, that is that is true. Security guards are, are nice here, man. I thought they're gonna be scary, but they're all right. I want to see if I can have food, water, shelter for the whole day for zero point zero zero dollars here in Manila. I gave up my valuables, my drone, and my entire wallet, and checked out of the hotel to hit the. This street. is gonna be interesting it's to see. Idea. It is a bad idea. Wow. I cannot eat out, but what I can do is rely on people's generosity. For water, this would be interesting. Thirsty. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is actually really nice. Coming from a country that ain't really very wealthy, really nice. You went after me. Yes. Why? I'm happy. So I'm just sharing my best. This is really nice, man. Unbelievable. But for shelter, this is a bit hard. I say I'm stranded. I ask one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, and then I meet this guy. What, what, what happened to this you? This is nice. Uh, it's a long I like story. this stuff. He takes me in, buys I'm me getting food, teary eyes in that. Oh my god. And doesn't even want to be filmed. When expecting there is still this. Good in this world. That's what there is good in this world world. still. Thank you. Prices. I know the prices Money. here. I don't like spending it. That's God. why I like the Philippines. It's you get me upset cheap. and stuff. A full day tour at this island will cost you twenty bucks and maybe twenty five dollars for Whoa. this one. Whoa! I might have to go check that out. Hong Kong. Here you can get it for one dollar. An Uber ride for one hour will cost you three dollars. Welcome to the Philippines. A romantic date for two will set you back fifteen dollars. Now you're not gonna go on a date, island hop, and get a haircut every single day. But what Haircuts are pretty cheap like here. Too, Saying that, who needs a haircut? <laughs> $1.10. Wow. Jesus Christ. Enjoy. Oh my god. He was gonna get the drunk there. While you drink your cheap drinks, you can make friends with locals because they all speak English in here. Yeah, everyone I've come across, most people speak English, which is nice, but then obviously I need to learn this language. Oh, the islands. I ain't been to any yet, but oh, this, look how beautiful that is. Oh my god. <laughs> Philippines is beautiful. These islands are gorgeous, but watching it from your phone, you will get bored after five seconds. So let me tell you what makes this place incredible. All right. Above water, it's heaven on earth, even when there is no sun. But it's not just what's above the water and on the water that's beautiful. It's also what's hiding underneath. Ooh. You have the gazillion oh, look at those fishes, like. Can you find Dory? Finding Nemo and Dory. Oh. Right that's feet. cool. Shipwreck. Look at all the rot and everything that's gone around it. It's like stones and, and stuff. Really it's kind of cool. I really want to go cliff diving soon. At some point, we're going to have to do it. I'm going to do a vlog on it, guys. Do a vlog. Whoa. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Ah, uh, mountain. See, I think this might be the place I want to go to. Um, apparently it's the place. I think this is the one. 
you can like cook food on the rock next to it or something. Which is like, people cook eggs, as I was told. Oh wow! It's her personality. Mayan is shy. She is so shy. She hides behind the clouds all the time. In fact, some say her husband are the clouds. And when you finally see her, I'm gonna have to go visit that place. Wow. I've never seen a volcano, so it's gonna be really interesting. Obviously, hopefully nothing happens, and I'm feel sorry for people that actually live near there and can't move. But it's just so beautiful, you know. Like stuff like that is like. The earth has got to be made by someone, you know, that can make you think. But it's best just of all, beautiful. She is perfect. The most perfect human being nature has to offer. That's Mayon. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, God, man. For the past five years, I've only stayed in the richest parts of the Philippines. And so it's easy for me to believe that all of the Philippines looks like this. But it's not. Only one cab ride away from here. You arrive here at the trash mountain. This is just oh man. Where people live in such you know, like I hate seeing people that like that. Unpleasant to smell. But this isn't just you know, this, this world is like percent of the Philippines live under the poverty line. It's incredible that under the same city roof you can lunch like this and dinner like this. Jesus Christ, I'm getting Green tears. Stuff coming from the ground means it's beautiful nature. In this case, it means there's so much Oh my god. I'm crying. That it formed a mountain where actual people live and plants. Oh my god, this to is grow. quite sad. Like the honestly, like people just need is, to help everyone. Like that's the that's the way it happens. But I think a more appropriate one is it's more fun in 75% of the Philippines. Yeah, I agree. Everyone always makes the fun stuff, but don't want to show anything else. So. I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. The Philippines is cheap, which means you don't need many dollars to come here and see this piece of beauty. But it also means you don't need many dollars to help those that need help. It's so cheap in here that we can buy this burger with me and all. That's what I'm exactly looking at doing is going and helping people. And price, you know, I'm going to do some videos on that. Oh my God. So beautiful bank. here. And, in a place and you know the thing is so as well. Poor, the trash forms an actual people who are poor here as well, I've seen. Just so nice. You know, just so so, such lovely people here. New York City. And with that, you can feed up to a thousand people. Wow. Wow. This guy's going to heaven, man. Yes, cheap prices mean better tourism, but it also means it's not that hard or expensive to help those in need. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Exactly. That's nice. Hey, I'll be back. Hi. It's my last day in the islands of the Philippines. I'm sad. But here is everything that I like about this country. Go! It's a country with more than 7,000 islands, which means this and this and this exist here. This volcano and this volcano also exist here. The prices, they are so cheap, you can get a whole village drunk or another poor village fed without breaking the bank. But reality is, in some parts, poverty is so extreme, people live on top of a trash mountain or at a graveyard with the dead. But you can Google all of that, Bob. What you cannot Google, however, are the people. They will be generous. They will feed you and they will host you without knowing you. They will build good startups and they will probably like crazy but best of all they will be your friend real friend the yeah. country's tagline is it's more fun in the philippines but i don't like that a better term is there's more love in the philippines yeah exactly that's one minute See you tomorrow! Yes! thank you Woo! there's more love in the philippines See, like, when, after just watching that, like, my hair, it can, I don't know if you can see him, you see my hair's all standing up, like, seriously, after watching that, it's really, really, really sad, you know, like, seeing stuff like that, is because, don't get me wrong, I see, like, all the nice things here, everything looks nice and stuff, like, I'm living in Eastwood, it looks great, but then, obviously, just outside Eastwood is a lot of poverty, and it just seems that, it's, oh man, I can't even go on, like, it's just, it's just so sad, and, uh, there's definitely a lot of things I'm gonna be doing for charity, well, I'm not gonna be doing charities, I'm gonna be going and giving people food, and stuff like that, like, when I've gone out to eat, or stuff like that, or if there's any food over from when I've cooked dinner, I'll then go and give it to people who live near me, 
you know, just general stuff like that, just helping people out because, you know, you're grateful. If you're breathing and you're living every day and you wake up every day to warm, like, to being nice and hot and, you know, covered in a blanket because you're warm and you're in a bed, you know, that's something that not a lot of people have in this world and just seeing that is really sad and uh, I don't really like seeing other people in... uh, bad places and it it does make me upset and there is a lot of poverty here that people don't want to show like you know they show themselves having fun and they show how all that stuff but there's a lot more to the philippines i've only been here for four months and i've seen how lovely everyone is here you know everyone's polite everyone's just a really really lovely bunch of people and seeing this has really highlighted it and this person has now the video. If you want to now a Filipino video and make a, a, a video about the Philippines, this is the type of video you should do as a tourist because this is big. You know, he went and showed all the fun stuff and then broke it down to the bad stuff to bring awareness. And I think people need to be more aware of the Philippines and so people can actually help out the country more. So, yeah, thanks uh, for watching, everyone. I didn't realize I was going to get a bit teary-eyed there. I didn't know how sad this was going to be. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing more reaction videos soon. And also, um, I'm living in the Philippines, so I'm going to do some vlogs. Uh, if you want to see my apartment tour, then click the eye. I think the eye is up there. Uh, you should see it somewhere. So, yeah, just click the eye above, and uh, you should be able to uh, see it. Oh, my God. I like how that's working. So, like, it's like my hands underneath it yeah so do that and i got all my social links up there too so go ahead and uh, check me out on instagram uh follow me on there and yeah f uh, follow me on uh, snapchat i add you as a friend and yeah snapchat me see how it goes thanks for watching and i'll see you a lot later goodbye